twos. Gotcha. There's a crew chief on the... On A crew chief is a, is a fun thing, right? Yep. They'll put that talk nice and close. Yeah. There you go. Believe me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun back then. Yeah, a lot, a lot of education. <laughs> camera here. We can talk into the camera. We can talk into the camera behind us, and we have it underneath the wing. All right. So your wife can see everything when I upload it to YouTube. All right. Okay. Hopefully she approves. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, my daughter will get this too. Yeah. Yeah, okay. she will. Yeah. get a picture before we uh ready okay take more as we go so welcome back folks We're with tom say hi tom hi <laughs> tom how long have you been on the submerge squad for pardon me 60 years no i 50? got 42 42 wow if this gets if this gets if it's too loud, is it nice? Is it good for you? No, it's good. That's good. good. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna taxi. Wanna close this door now or not yet. Alright, when we take off. Yeah, right. when we get close. It's too hot right now. Okay. We gotta do a checklist yet oh, down here. Yep. I, I did a lot of flying in my time. Oh, I'm sure you did. But I know the procedures. <laughs> How many bombs did you drop, you think? A lot? I don't know. We, well, we dropped 500 pounders. Wow. Jeez. Whew. And uh, brilliant traffic. Anybody inbound for 1-8, uh, Braden? Hey, brilliant traffic. Maybe he's going to back taxi down 1 8. Brilliant. So this is a short runway. Yeah. So you got to really get on the numbers here and really make sure you have, you know, if you have to go around, you just full power, go around. Airspeed up. Yep. <laughs> So I got a, G a GPS, and I got a flight app. This has all the charts on it. Not back when you used to have the big charts. Right, you were, you were probably like this. All uh, your pilots were probably like this back in the day, right? Like this. Yeah, they had me. Where are we going? I don't know, where the hell are we going? Let's just drop the bomb here, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, today everything is GPS. We had, a, we had a navigator. Yeah, but he had a, it's, it wasn't really GPS. It was just really hard, a re, you know, real navigator per se, right? Um, my job is to make sure Bombay doors open. Right. Oh, that's, that's what my job was, basically. System it, test passed. The circuit breakers go, you replace them. Well, fix them, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> we all we all had a job. Yes. All right, I'm going to do with the checklist here. And we'll be right back with everybody. Alrighty. So a checklist. Got plenty of fuel, lights, doors. Now get the doors. I'm gonna now push that handle forward, Tom. Just forward. Yep, all the way. Use your right. Yeah, you're, there you go. Keep going. There you go. You're locked in. You're you're okay. Yep. You're comfortable. Fine. Let's go. Okay, this is locked. We're gonna go. You ready? Yep. All right. Fuel pumps coming on. Thing lights on. Now what I'm gonna do is this is a gear bar. This bar goes down and locks, so we're going to be careful of that area. Yep. Hey, Braden Traffic, uh, maybe take the active 1 8 for departure, Braden. All right, let's roll. Okay, I'm going to look for. 
Sectional dry row, we're five, six, seven, eight, point eight. We're all good, we're all on the green. There's some power and fuel pumps on, landing lights on, strobes are on. Full power, and let's go. Here we go. We're going. No turning back now, Tommy. Nope. 50, 60, 65, a little more. I locked. All right, gear's coming up. Yep. That gets locked in. Wow. Oh, man. Awesome. Beautiful, right? Yeah, it sure is. Maybe some thermal, some bumps up here, just so you know, because the heat for today. Yep. Okay, flaps coming up now. Sound traffic, sky wagons on the upwind for 2 5 on the grass. Hey, everybody in traffic, we just parted your pattern to the east. See you later. Braden. In here. There's, there's a Delaware. I can see it from here. Yep. plane takes off nice. We got full fuel. What oh, is nice? Um, where's the? There's the. There's the high school. Billsburg High School's right there. We're gonna go. I'm gonna make it so you can see it to your right. Yeah. Oh, there's their new school. Yep, that's a new school. Yeah. Put it up on a mountain. <laughs> hey, fuel pumps coming off, laying lights coming off. Looking good. We're looking good, Tom. Yep. You don't you don't know how much I love this. Oh, I, I love it too, Tom. I really do. I try that's why I do this the YouTube channel. You know, I try to, to get people inspired by it. It's so amazing. And uh, no, my hangar at, there's the high school. My hangar at Orange County Airport is right, is right by the flight school. And a lot of the, the people, they want to quit, you know, almost halfway done. And I just say, why are you almost quitting? You're almost done. So I try to do this. And there's uh, That's that new warehouse. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So Corliss Ave is right over yeah. here. Over, over this way. Yep. But it's by the um Yeah, Barber School. Yep. I, I live on the corner house. Ingersoll and Corliss. Let's see if we can find it. I was close to the squad building. Yes, you were close, yeah, that's true. There's twenty two. That's a big prop. You don't realize how big this prop it is until you look yeah. at it. Yeah. That is a big warehouse. Oof. So there is... That's 22 there. Yep. There's Easton. There's a toll bridge. Yeah. That's Phyllis. Phillipsburg Cemetery. I live over here. There's the high school. Yep. They make a U-turn. It's a pretty cool. That's an old high school. Yeah, right there. Go down around this way. Go up. You'll go right up Cortland. Yep. You got the apartment buildings, right? Right there. Yep. 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 I know where, exactly where that is. I'm gonna try to find it for you. You have an RV12 on the downwind, two four wings. Yeah, there it is, right there. There's a there's a police station, the yeah. library. Right there is where I live. Yep. Yeah. You live in the house, right? Yep. Corner house. Do you see your house from here? Yeah. I, I don't see anybody out there? No. Uh, my wife's probably out there. I told her what plane you were on, green and white. So she'll look for it. 
Look at that. Look how big that warehouse is. We're going to go around that. That, that is something. Oh, I'll my goodness. You. A lot of jobs, though. That was wasted land for a long time, right? Yeah. Not a traffic protest. There's 10 miles north inbound. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is something, boy. I'm, I'm glad I can do this for you, Tom. What's that? I'm glad I can do this for you. Oh, man, you don't know how much I love this. Rejoin. It's been a couple of years since I've been up. Springfield, PMRV, 12. I had all my kids up. My wife. When I first met her, she'd never been on a plane. Really? Yeah. That building is still there. Look, that old one. And that's the old Ingersoll. Yep. All the old timers used to work there. Well, I worked for Ingersoll for a year. Over in West Easton. West Easton. I, I was a welder. Yeah. How often do you fly, Chris? As much as I possibly can, Tom. Oh. I, I, fly, I fly quite a lot, actually. Well, if you ever need a passenger aboard, give me a bus. Absolutely. I'll come and get you. We'll go somewhere for lunch or something next time. Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah, I'll, we'll buy, do that. You, I'll buy you lunch. You're going to buy it? I'm, cheap. I'm a cheap date. I drink. I get the free water, and I just use the whatever special is. Uh, I'm, a cheap, I'm a cheap date, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> My wife says I should take you out for lunch. Perfect. She can come with us. Yeah. So the, Filkford, the old Philadelphia High School is shaped like a P. If you noticed it, yeah. which is right there. Yeah, they're out there practicing. They're playing. Yeah. Like, what is this plane circling, right? And there's Corliss again. Yep. Uh, right there's there. Barber School. Yep. So you're right across from that? Yep, right across from Barber. On the right or left side of Barber right now? Right on the right side. Right side. Yeah. There she is. You see her? Yep. She's standing out there. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> oh, I see her, yeah. Yep. It's in the corner, right? Yep, that's her. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's Greenwich. You know, you know how you take off with this? You know, it's up. Yep. 52 is like an elevator. They, they don't go up. <laughs> Was it a B-52? Is that oh, what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. They, they go up like an elevator. They go up like, they're so heavy. Oh, I can imagine. Eight, eight engines. <laughs> a lot of thrust. <laughs> I'm sure. Traffic, uh, That's got eight miles four engines or two? A, uh, eight right eight engines. Uh, wow. wow. B-52. Oh, the B-52. Yeah, that's, a, that's... Wow. That was... Oh, my God. I went in in 1964 out of high school. Wow. When I graduated. Well, thank there you for your service, Tom. Yeah, thank you. I, me and my friend Louie Kovach went in together, buddy system. When he went in for administration, I went in for jets. We went, for the, we, went, we went in for the fun stuff, right? Yeah, I, I went to school on the 47th. Wow. One of these days, I want to go back up to, I was stationed up in Maine. Maine, yeah. It's beautiful right now, Maine, yeah. right now. Uh, up at Loring Air Force Base. It's closed now. Yeah, I could bring you up there. We'll go get, we can go get lunch over there, Maine. I love to go up there. I like to go up, up to it's near Presque Isle, up there in Limestone, Maine. I like the tour. You got yeah, a couple tours months ago, there. I took um, Harry Wyant and his wife to um, Block Island. Oh. Out of here. Well, they loved some, it. Sometime you have real time, we'll go up to Maine. Sure. Yeah, Island. absolutely. A whole day. Yeah, I'd love that. Wide right base. If you don't, I really want to go. I, I told my wife, I can't drive that far no more. My yeah. Legs, legs won't let me. Let's see if we can find. Let's see if we can find her again. Is she still there? I don't know. She might have went in. She. Wings traffic five one three three kilos left downwind runway two four wing. Yeah, somebody's out there. Sarah, right on the corner. Yeah.
Look at that, she see that when I get over. Want to go over to Ridge to PA? Where do you want to go? What do you yeah. also want to check out? Let's go. To, let's go up to Belvedere. Belvedere? Okay. That's, that's my hometown. It's right over here. Yep. It's that way over there. That's yes. my hometown. That's where I was raised. Yeah, everything is all. I got traffic. Look, I got all the traffic. I can see everything right here. Yeah. This is ideal. How the times have changed to really to help us. For the longest time, I thought that that electric plant was in uh, Belvedere. Well, it's outside of Belvedere. Yeah, it's right. It's, in, it's a PA. It's a, yeah. We're going to be passing over here. Yeah. That was man-made. Yeah. Did you build it? Uh, that's a reservoir. He built that years ago. Wings traffic, Sirius 18 Hotel Yankees departing the area to the uh, north last call wings. We picked a perfect night to fly. Oh, uh, couldn't could have better weather. You uh, keep this in the hangar? Yes. Good, because we're getting a bad storm. Yeah, soon? Or high winds on Thursday. Three kilos on final for two four weeks. Outside, yeah. you got to moor it down. <laughs> well, this plane is really nice to not, to, to, oh. to not keep in, uh, inside. you got to kind of have to. This plane's beautiful. Thank you. Busting my chops, Tom, to get stuff like this. My whole life, since I was 12 years old, 10 years old, really, cutting grass, busting my chops. Sorry, my wife, Skyhawk, joining. Uh, I wanted to find that one for zero. I wanted, I wanted to get my license. Down advisory on the airport. The FRI made it weather advisory. I wouldn't pass the flight, sir. Right. There's a BLT-4. Sky can't lie. In clear. <laughs> no, no. Can't do that. Altimeter 3006, density altitude missing. Picture me and my wife going flying. Really, I. We got to bring her next time. Yeah, she, she was up there. Yeah. I'm gonna get her to come up. Yeah. And when, when it's the springtime. Yeah. You know, you get to go places like to the islands, Block Island, Provincetown, Martha's Vineyard, have a nice dinner, lunch, you know, and then it's it only takes to from here to get to Block Island is an hour. It's not, and that's 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 not. If you drove, it's about six six and a half. How long to go to Philly from here? Oh, Philly is not even far away at all. From here, Philadelphia is probably 10 minutes. Well, we got a great flavor down there. You have where? And She's going to have open heart surgery. Drive it no more. Look at, they're closer. There you go. I can't drive down here no more. Yeah, it's a lot, right? Yeah. <coughs> oh, put that back on nice and tight. <laughs> well, here's hey, Belvedere right here. Yeah, I used to live right down there in Adams Street. Oh, really? Yeah. We'll go make a do a right swing. I, I went to Belvedere High School down there. Belvedere Cemetery's right down there. That's where my my mom is and my brother. We'll go from the right side, we'll turn. You can see this side. Uh, what factory is that over here? That, that's um, in the, off in the Roach. That used to be all farmland. Re yeah, I know. Yeah. I see a lot of solar fields going up. That was all farmland too. Yep. Soon they'll complain there's no farmland left because of solar fields. Yeah, well, sooner or later, how are you going to eat if you don't have land to fight the crops? <laughs> True story. In about 10, 15 years, those solar panels go bad. you got to replace them all. It costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to replace them. 
very bad for you, actually. How long have you blown to the squad, Chris? 20 years. 20 years? 20 years this wow. year. Wow. did it when I was a young kid. Well, I used to teach CPR. I was an instructor. All over the place. Really? It's gotten a lot crazier now. Yeah, I, it's a shame. You know, it was when I joined this squad, there was no women. Right. You had a waiting list to get on. Oh, yeah. That's no lie. It's, now you can't find anybody to join now. It's a lot to go into it. It's not like it used to be. I mean, even we went, years ago, you had a lot to do with it. You got to be around. You got to help. You got to... Well, then you got to be an EMT. Got to be an EMT now. Everything, yeah. Well, what I did, I took the eight-point system. Thanks. I got my badges and everything. And that's it's Belvedere Cemetery. I guess some. That's the uh, Delaware River. Yep. Uh, you go up the high point, it's only like this. <laughs> I know. No, I know. <laughs> I could get... How long does it take you to fly up here from... Oh, 20 minutes. They have all of uh, New York, Orange County. You don't, you don't fly in the dark, do you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Was that a hot air balloon over here? I don't see it. 11 o'clock? Something over there. Oh, it could be the, 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 the uh, blimp. The Goodyear blimp, maybe. Oh yeah, I see, see it now. Yeah, right out there. It looks like a balloon. It does, right? Yeah, yeah it is the balloon. Yeah, it's a balloon. Yeah. yeah let's go over here. What the hell? Let's go over to let's go over to Big Lake. Everybody's probably up tonight. The balloons, everybody. Hey, you don't you don't have a low ceiling, you know, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Oh years ago I, me and my wife went up to Alaska. Oh beautiful. We're up there for two weeks, and she went to a salmon roast or whatever. And the, us boys all went up to the Arctic Circle. We got a plane, went up the Arctic Circle. Nice. How was that? Beautiful? Beautiful. But never knew this. We went up across the circle, and the pilot, we all were sitting in the back. He never told us. Once we went across the circle, that plane went like this. And the reason being, gravitational pull. Right. Greater up there than it is down here. <laughs> we had a metal plane. <laughs> well, you <laughs> had a couple of guys grow up. You know? <laughs> it didn't scare me, but right. it's the first time it ever happened to me. It's a nice lake. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yep. How long did it take to make that? Oh, a couple of years. Yeah. It used to be a small dam, Ingersoll. It used to be called Ingersoll Dam. Now that's the dam over there. Beautiful. They said if that breaks, yeah. Stortsville's underwater. Who is? Stortsville. Really? Yeah, that's right over there. We get, we get a picture of us flying now. Look at it, Tommy.
Oh yeah. Take a picture. I got a picture of you looking out the window. There's a there's that balloon. There it is. Wanna fly, Tom? You can fly. No, no, no. Just hold the wheel. Yeah. Just hold it straight, that's all. You get a picture of you flying. I know how to turn. Good. Look at that. Don't hit, don't hit the balloon. <laughs> He's way over there. I see him. It's nice, right? Yeah. It's nice on the controls. It's really easy just in the Mooney. It wouldn't take me much to, to get my license. I know it would. You'll, you'll leave the wife home and fly every day, won't you? Oh. I'd probably live up in the plane. <laughs> Reminds me when I was a kid. They're 78. When I was a kid. Our 16th birthday, my mom would give us a party. My mom said, What do you want for your birthday this year? So, the party? I said, No, I want to go for an airplane ride. That's what I did. That's I love that. That's the first time I ever went up. That was, that was over in Pensy. Yeah. Over a break. <laughs> There's 78. Low turn. Push up a little bit. They can, there you go, perfect. Keep it nice and level. And there's the old high school. Push down a little bit. There you go. Goes down a little bit. <laughs> hey, make a right turn. Let's go over this way. That, make a right turn. Let's go that way. All right. Check out the, the old mall. They they, they 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 almost tore down. See the mall, and you see the inner saw, and you see. Yeah. I guess that's going to go down. It took Sears down. Yeah, the whole roof caved in. Yep. Yeah, there's 78. Yep. There's Stortsville, Bloomsbury. There's a mall. Well, there's a Home Depot, Lowe's. It's a long time since I did this. I flew once before. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a pilot let me fly. That was about 15 years ago. Wow. You don't forget. No? It's an awesome experience up here. Yep. You see a lot that you don't see on the ground. How long did it take you to get your license, Chris? Um, it took me about... Uh, eight months, because I was, I didn't do it full time. A little bit here, a little bit there. Oh, you had a good instructor. Yeah, he was, he was a really good instructor. He flies Learjets for a living. Oh. <laughs> His brother flies for um, United. He's a captain of the big plane. His dad flew for America. Well, Pan, Pan Am, was it, at first? And flew for, then flew for American. No, most of those big ones fly themselves. Oh, anymore. it's as you get off the ground, you put the button on and it yeah, flies. Auto, up. Uh, yeah, automatic. You put in the altitude you want, you know, and it's, it does it all for you. I like the small planes like this because you can see things. Yeah, it's, yeah. You get up 32, 36,000. You don't see nothing up you there. You don't see nothing. There's, there's Easton. Eh, we can head back to the airport. You're done already? Yeah. You sure? Well, I, you got to get back. Yeah, I don't worry about it. Uh, well.
What's, you want to go up Blue Mountain? Go straight up, yeah, straight. A little bit to the right, we want to stay out of Stewart's air, or uh, you want to stay out of Allentown's airspace. So a little right. bit to the right. You see where that hole is in this hill? We'll aim for that little loop in the hole there. Because the airport's right here. Yeah, stay straight right there is perfect. Perfect. We're at 2,500, that's good. I'll tell, tell my wife I flew the plane. You're my witness. I am your witness. <laughs> Air pockets. Uh, you feel them a little bit? Yeah. Little, I feel little, little thermals. Yeah. There's the airport. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, we'll go over here and we'll come back. And, yeah, you know, whatever you want to do. That'll be enough. Then. Yeah, whatever you want. Well, we have some traffic to our right. You can see him oh. right here. We'll see. Make sure we I gotta push down home. a little bit. Traffic one o'clock. Same altitude. Two miles. How's level. That? Perfect. Let's see. We make sure we can find this guy. Oh, there he is. Let me take this for one second, scab yeah. his way. You see him right there? 12 o'clock now? Yeah. No, I don't see him. Right there. Oh. You see him? Yeah. Stay out of his way. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. <laughs> no, uh, I got to take home, take my heart medication. Oh, do you? What time is that? Five. Oh. No, that's all right. I could be an hour late. Okay. Don't scare me like that. No, no. No, no. I'm we'll fine. go to the ridge. We'll come back. Is that good? What's that? We'll go to, over to the ridge here and we'll go back. Yeah, fine. You can fly now. Okay. I'll, you I'll, sure? Yeah, I like to see now. Okay, please. go take a hand. Relax. But thanks. Let me fly. No I, problem, Tom. I appreciate that. No problem. Say this is going to be on YouTube? <laughs> yep, put it on YouTube for you. When, you. when I get home, my wife can put it on? No, I have to edit everything first. Oh. I'll take, I'll be done with, it'll, it'll be done within about three days. I'm when okay. I, yeah, because I edit all the video camera footages. Yeah, okay. So I'll tell her to look around on Friday. Yeah, and I got the pictures in my phone, I'll send her. Give me her number, I'll send it to her. When we get down the ground, we'll get that. Yeah. You did a good job flying. You know how to fly. Told you. <laughs> Not bad. I said, my wife said, Tom, we go for your license. I can't get them. I says, you know, it breaks my heart because I know I can't pass the physical. Yeah. Well, you can get. It depends on the on where you go, but you can get a um, a a medical card that you do. Just it's it's you don't you can't do everything. If you can do some things right now, they passed that rule. The law. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really read it. Read it. So I don't know what it is exactly, but you can get like a uh, um, experimental or a, or a what do you call it, a sports something pilot license or whatever they do. I gotta look into that. I have not read that in a long time. But you know, I thought, well, you know, if I get my license, I go up with another pilot. And yeah. Let me fly. If something goes wrong, he's there. Yeah. Well, you can fly anytime with me. Oh. You don't have automatic pilot on this. I do. So if okay. I if I go up if I go up the straight, I have yeah. wing leveling system. It stays okay. at, at a course. Yeah. It's okay. It's nothing crazy. I'm looking into getting a, a full autopilot hopefully soon, but they're expensive. There's the original. Look at look at the leaves changing. Well, Isn't I don't. That cool? I don't know what this costs. Around three grand, three hundred thousand. What? This, this plane? plane? No, it wasn't. That wasn't that much at all. Really? That's a 1968 Mooney. Wow. So the new ones are about 800. Yeah. These are under 100,000. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. They're not crazy. Uh, you can get a Cessna 150 for like 15,000. 
So you can you can get up in the air pretty cheap right now. As long as you're flying, you're doing the right. You're you're doing fine. You know. Yeah. But it is this beautiful? Look at the trees changing colors. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Really nice up here. I'll turn, make a right turn so you can see. Yeah, I can see it. Look at it. The beautiful, art, right? Color. Yeah. That's what my wife said. You ought to fly up around Blue Mountain. She said, nice. right here. This, this should all be right here, Blue Mountain. All yeah, this area. All, all this area. Yep. Now on this side, where this is all Pennsylvania. Oh, well, we've been we've been in PA, but. Look at how it goes off, off the ridge there, off the, shoot, the hill, the mountain. Beautiful though, right? Yep. Make a right turn. I get a picture with you in the background with the trees. All right, look out, Tom. Look out the window. I'm gonna get you. Perfect. That's nice. Take another turn. Hey, anytime you want a friend, you, can, you call me. I'll call you. I have your number. All right, and we'll go. Look how beautiful that little area is. The ridge there where it come, comes in. I'm, I'm retired. I can go anytime. <laughs> You're too young to be retired. I'm 74. That's not old. <laughs> okay, we're going to head, head back to Braden. Yep. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful, Tom? Look at out here. All the, yeah, the reds like and the that. yellows and the greens. Yeah, that's beautiful. Isn't that nice? It's going to get better yet. A little bit better. Fall. Another week or two would be nice. Yeah, really be nice. Nice, nice fall age. Yep. I usually go there, I go on a 45 to the airport, midfield, and I make my downwind. Right. That's the, look at that, that ridge, how it comes off. Nice, right? Oh, man. I'm going to switch tanks, put it on the fullest for landing. Yeah. So I put the fuel pump on, and right. I just switch it over. Good? You know, I was telling my wife, I said, when you're laying at breathing, it's always like a hill. Yeah, well, coming like coming on to going uh, on 3-6, that is a hill. It's a yeah. pain in the, you have yeah. to really be, that, I don't like landing on that runway. Because you kind of have to, it's a hill, so you kind of have to land like this almost. And it's very yeah. difficult, you know, to do that. Now, there's a, there's a couple guys I know who are uh, um, are tied down. Like, that's their home base airport. Yeah. They know how to do it pretty well. Yeah. So I use the other side, 1-8. It's downhill. But, hey, it's better than going uphill on an angle. It's, and it's like this. So you got to, yeah. if you come down, you, you, you tend to bounce because it's already an incline. I came down that way a couple times. Really? Yeah, when I was at the pilot, you know, we went up for a flight. Broader than. It seems like you're just going up the hill. Yeah. <laughs> but the winds are favoring 1 8 anyway. You want to land always in the wind. Right. You better see uh, those 52s when you land, especially when it's, it's windy out. That wingspan is 183 feet. Wow. That's the wingspan on there. Wow. And we come in. And the pilot lining up to the runway, the landing gear, they'll lock into that runway. In other words, if you're coming in, your plane goes like this, those wheels will lock right into that runway. Wow. You can come in almost sideways. Because you got the outriggers on the wings. <laughs> hey, that must drink a lot of fuel, that plane, huh? Well, when we were fully loaded. Oh, my goodness. Talking 100 bombs. That's what they carry. Wow. And they carry the big ones. But all, all 500 pounds bombs? All 500 pounders. So you took a lot of thrust to get it off the ground. Oh, you have to. You, no. need, you need a long runway too, I'd imagine, yep. right? Yep. Yeah, that's why you can only have special runways for them. That's why we had to go to Guam. They had a long runway. Right. And you need every bit of it too. 
Oh, a lot of history, Tom, a lot of history. Yeah, you know, you come in with them, you know, you take off with that, and boy, when you drop payload, when you get you up? It goes once a second. Oh my God, I did, first time, <laughs> first time I went up. I was with the crew, you know, first time we're with the crew, and I flew with that crew for 20 missions. Wow. First mission, they are all saying, okay, we're gonna drop, you know, the navigator. Okay. We were on a target. They were all strapped in but me, you know, I was, I didn't know it. They didn't say nothing. They're messing with you. They, they did mess with me. <laughs> well, I'm sitting in the seat, and all of a sudden, when they opened doors, it, they dropped it, because they dropped like you can't believe. Oh, they yeah. Dropped that payload, that plane went <laughs> <laughs> That was a thrill and a half. <laughs> I can't imagine. Well, guess what? Next time I strapped. Now you know. <laughs> they always mess with the new guy, right? Yep. That's everywhere you go. Yep. All right, so we're going to start landing. And Braden traffic, uh, Mooney 8, so November is on a 3 mile 45 for the midfield left downwind for 1 8, Braden. You know, I, I told the crew, I said, hey, you don't want to mess with me too much. <laughs> won't, you won't get back home. <laughs> that is true. So we're almost, I'm going to put the gear down, so I'm going to move this wire, so the gears move this wire, so the gears are going to come down. Oop. All right. I hit this main, hit, I hit your uh, All right. seatbelt. How was there? They're okay. Sorry, hit your seatbelt, Tom. I gotta get your back buckled in. All right. Got it? Yep, you're in. All right, let's get. Here this. we go. That happens sometimes. Yep. Gotta buckle in, though. That's that's the protocol. You know, when you fly with somebody that enjoys it like you do, it's more fun. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. And Braden traffic moves midfield left downwind for 1 8 Braden. So, gas, undercarriage, mixture, props full rich, or full, rich, pro, uh, mixture is full rich, props full forward, the gear is down. I'm going to put some flaps in. Flaps are full. RP. Okay, we're all good, Tom. We're all in the green here. And Braden traffic, but he's left base now for 1 8 Braden to be full stop. So, my, I go around the, the solar farm here. All right. That's one of my point that pointers. So, the fuel pump's on, the undercarriage is down a lot, that's the gear. The mixture is full rich, the props full forward, we have the flaps in full. Um, you have your seatbelts on, my seatbelts on, I'm gonna watch our speed. Car pizza out. We're good to go. Got to get it just right. It's so short, it's running away. And Braden traffic, uh, Mooney 8, 7 November, turning final now for 1 8. Be a full stop. Braden. That separates men from the boys. <laughs> They're saying, here they come. Watch <laughs> out. I see it. See the runway? Yep. Look how short that is. Narrow. Yeah. And all the cars are sitting there. You have to go right over the cars. Okay, gear light is on. That means the gear is down and locked. But now we got to pay attention here. Bring her in. We'll bring her in. It's not a B-52, but we'll bring her in, Tommy. <laughs> we'll get her in, Tommy. Imagine being in these cars right now. What is this plane coming at me? <laughs> okay, 80 miles an hour. Nice. Ew, that car, hurry up. <laughs> 75, idle. Oh, nice. Not bad. Not bad, Tommy. You're good. I try. What you're doing? Pull back, get the, get the weight in the back tires for braking. So you pull back on the yoke. I don't slam on the brakes, I just nice and easy. Barpy goes in, just out. Hey, Braden, traffic news got a back taxi on 1 8, Braden. Final runway 1 8, Braden.
bunch coming in. Yep, we'll get out of their way. We'll be out of your way in two seconds here. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know how much I enjoyed. No problem, Tom. Man, Anytime. Man. Well, like I said, whenever you need a friend. I got gonna, you. I don't want to bug you. Whenever you want to go, to me to go with you, let me. Absolutely. And Braden, try to clear all my ways, Braden. That was pretty cool, Tom, right? Yep. Thank you for coming along. That oh, was fun. Thanks for having me. That's... And thanks for all the viewers out there watching us. Like what I'm doing, folks, please subscribe to my channel, right, Tom? Yep. Next time, folks, fly safe, be safe. See ya. Traffic, Cherokee 7629 or Foxtrot, back to Axiom Runway 18, Braden.